A man found a safe in his backyard. It was his neighbor's. For years, the rusty metal box lay entangled in poison ivy and trees in a Staten Island backyard. The homeowners thought it was just an electricity box. But last month, they were amazed to discover it was instead a locked safe that held money and jewels. And they traced to a $69,000 robbery in 2001. So began the tale of Bamboo Bob, the ninja burglar, and the stolen treasure of Staten Island. It's like a childhood dream that you find treasure, said the homeowner, Matthew Emanuel, who eventually tracked down the safe's owners. I knew it was quite a find. Emanuel, a financial advisor for Bernard Harold and Company, and his family moved into their house in the Tot Hill neighborhood about four years ago. From the deck and the couch in their family room, they could see the metal box on the edge of the property but rarely paid attention to it. It was just a rusty box, he said, behind some trees. In the spring, after winter storms and hungry deer ravaged their trees and other vegetation, Emanuel called in a horticulturist who specializes in exotic plants to help them plant bamboo on the side of the yard for more privacy. On April 28th, the man known as Bamboo Bob arrived. Bamboo Bob, whose real name is Robert Foley but insisted on being referred to by his nickname in a telephone conversation, has been turning over the soil for decades as a landscaper in backyards, gardens, and zoos in the New York and New Jersey areas. When he paced around Emanuel's backyard for the first time, he paused at the site of the metal box, about 60 centimeters wide and 45 centimeters deep, embedded in a few inches of dirt. You never know what's underground, Foley said. Every job, I've got to know what's going on. He asked Emmanuel what the box was. He said, I don't know. I said, how long have you lived here? At closer inspection, Foley and the other workers determined that it was not an electrical box after all. He helped the homeowners dig it up from the dirt. They turned it over and saw a dial. It was a locked safe. Disturbed from its hibernation, six meters from Emmanuel's back. I've seen it the whole time, Emmanuel said. I've been throwing mulch on it. The safe was heavy, about 35 to 45 kilograms. Emmanuel said he rocked it back and forth to see if he could hear jingling. They moved it to the deck where it remained for the day as the landscapers worked. Then they pried it open with a pick. The first thing we saw was stacks of hundreds, about three inches thick, wet and stuck together, Foley said. Inside were small bags of gold, diamond rings, earrings, and other jewelry. It was mind-boggling, Emmanuel said. There was so much gold I was using my kitchen scale. It probably weighed a pound or more. Emmanuel said he did not call the police, but over the next few days he said he peeled apart some of the bills, drying them out and counting them. He said they added up to about $21,000 in cash, mostly in $100 denominations, but some $50 notes. Then he discovered an address on an item in the safe. He searched online and linked the address to an old neighbor's whose house he passes while walking his dog. On April 30th, Emmanuel knocked on the door. I have a strange question for you, he said. Have you ever been robbed? Emmanuel, who declined to provide the name of his neighbors, said the couple said yes. They were robbed during the day in 2011 when the so-called ninja burglar was roaming the neighborhood. Well, I think I have your stuff, Emmanuel told them. Why don't you come over to my house and I'll show it to you? He and his wife walked around the corner. He brought her into the kitchen and showed her the safe and its contents. She was stunned. The discovery revisited an unsettling time dating back more than a decade when the masked prolific thief who became known as the Ninja Burglar preyed upon Todd Hill and other neighborhoods. Robert Costanzo, a convicted rapist, was eventually arrested in 2016 and admitted to investigators that he was responsible for more than 100 burglaries in which he stole more than $5 million worth of property. The authorities said, we got our guy, they announced at the time. Officials said Costanzo had been active for a 10-year period until 2015, but the statute of limitations had expired in many of the cases, and he was charged with just three counts of burglary. He was convicted and sentenced to 22 years in prison. Still, the long-lost safe could have been his work. Residents at the address found by Emanuel had reported in 2011 that their safe had been stolen with about $53,000 in cash and jewelry, all worth up to $69,000, a police department spokeswoman said. That was investigated as part of that ninja burglary pattern. Ryan Lavis, a spokesperson for the Staten Island District Attorney, said on Friday. Emanuel said that reporters all over the world had called him since the discovery was first reported by the Staten Island Advance and then picked up by television networks. 
One recurring question was why he returned the money and jewels. I knew whose it was, he said, when I didn't know Saturday night. I had all intentions of keeping it. But once Sunday came around and I found out whose it was, I knew it was somebody else's. I couldn't walk past their house and live with myself knowing I had their stuff. 